She was at a tournament. My buddy and I, we were watching a couple of the live stream games, so we decided to make a bet on it. Me being a Rink Rat player, like I was like, oh, I'm gonna roll with Rink Rat. And I wake up the next morning trying to find out who won. All I remember was she was sitting on the left side of the picture, like bottom left corner. And I just looked at her and the whole time I was just looking at her, I didn't even bother with the score. I just remember clicking on her profile and I just was like, left like awestruck almost of, wow, this woman is beautiful. Like, where did she come from? And then I got really ballsy and I sent her a follow request and she followed me back. It must have been like three, four days go by. I ended up posting a picture of a fortune cookie that had a bunch of random numbers on it. The worst fortune cookie numbers you could ever have been given. Like, they're terrible. And I messaged her that. And we just started talking. It slowly started transitioning to like longer messages. We started talking and on Snap on messages every day. I didn't really know what to expect. And I didn't know so much that I even asked him, like, why are you talking to me? And I told her, I was like, well, I, you know, I want to get to know you. I want to see where this goes. Like, I know this is long distance. I know this is crazy to think of, but I'd like to try it. Crazy to sound like this, but two weeks into the relationship, I was in love with that chick. I sat there and I'm like, I'm going to marry her. Like, I know I am. And COVID hit. And I was just like, crap, like, I'm never going to get to see her. But COVID was the best blessing God could have presented to, like, our relationship. We couldn't see each other physically. A, there's COVID, and B, we're 3,000 miles apart. So we got to learn each other for the first two months of our relationship. It started off as just finding out what the score was, and I ended up falling in love so hard that I'm going to be married to her come November. I've always had hockey to de-stress me. It was something where I felt safe. Even so in college, like I went and studied in the hockey rink because I just felt comfortable there more than anywhere else. I got the love of my life out of it. So like, yeah, I owe hockey a lot. It's no longer the priority anymore. I could, you know, stop playing tomorrow and I'm the happiest person alive still because I have her.